Moi. Hey guys, it's Cylinder Says. Today I wanted to tell you about how I've been doing at my six month post op point. So I had my top surgery in August with Dr. Turkletop in Scottsdale, Arizona, and I had double incision top surgery. It's been a good six months, to be honest. The first two months were rough, but after that it got pretty easy. My mobility is back to normal. For the most part, you know, I still have some restriction. I can't put my arms all the way back behind my head, but I can go this way. I can hold my arms out like this. I can put my arms behind my head. So that mobility is back to normal. I can go to hot tubs now. I can go to the gym and work out and it doesn't hurt. I do have some sensitivity here. So, you know, if, he, if my chest gets bumped by accident, it does hurt. I have some areas that are more painful than others. My left side is healing better sensitivity-wise than my right side. Don't know why that is, but that's just how it's working out right now. I do use um, cocoa butter on my scars every day, twice a day. Keep them constantly moisturized. And I did have some uh, silicone, some silicone scar gel, but I did run out. I have to go back to my top surgeon and get some more of that. Let me show you how my results are looking right now, and we can talk a little bit more about sensation with my skin. All right. Okay. So, this is how things are looking right now. Let me lower that. So here's my chest. This is the side where I had the complication with my drain. It wasn't really a complication, it's just that it got snagged in this area. Here's my right side. As you can see, healing very nicely. Scars on the edges are fading really great. Especially right here. This area is where the most of the stretching is happening. Because of my arms moving outwards like this, upwards, you know. Funny enough, when I see my chest, it makes it harder for me to do things like stretching out and reaching things because when I see it, I'm like, oh, look at the scars stretch, but it looks really good. So let's talk about sensation. So I can feel all up here. This is normal sensation area. It starts to get a little tingly in this zone here, which makes sense because this is the shape of the incision that they made, right? So tingly in this area, I do have feeling here. I have feeling all the way here and in the middle. When I touch my scars, it does feel a little bit funny and numb, but it's gotten better over time. And then under here, this is quite numb as well. I can tell that I'm touching it because of pressure, but sensation wise, I don't feel the texture. I don't feel the tactile sensation of touching my own skin, right? And then here, if I touch my nipple, I don't have tactile sensation there, but I do feel the pressure. Let's look at this side. On my right side, I can feel all up here. This feels normal. This down here feels normal. This area back here feels normal. But when I get to this part, again, the same shape, this eye shape area, I don't have tactile sensation there which is fine by me because it would creep me out. <laughs> I don't have tactile sensation on my nipple either, just pressure. And my scars feel quite numb. This area here actually has more sensation, which is interesting. And then of course this area up here is unchanged. My surgeon didn't go this high up because they didn't need to. And so, so I wanna talk about something else with my top surgery. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay, so with developing this muscle here, my pectoral muscle before my surgery, I was doing push-ups, wide grip, and diamond, and regular push-ups twice a week. So I was doing several sets of those twice a week, you know, Tuesday, Thursday, or Monday, Friday, whatever it was, two days a week in the gym. I was doing um, a lot of chest presses as well. Pull-ups. That's what I was doing to build out my chest. What, what else was I doing? I did chest flies as well with some weights. I think that the weight that I was at was 15 and 20 pounds, which isn't a lot, but for myself, I'm pretty proud. To be honest with you, I thought that this muscle would be more prominent 
following my surgery. But of course, because of the swelling, you couldn't really see it at first, so you can't expect that right out the gate. And because I haven't worked out for six months, I only just got back to the gym. And so my muscle hasn't been visible until recently, probably because I didn't continue working out until recently. You could see uh, an outline of it, but it hasn't started to get really prominent until now. And so that's probably the reason why. I have not been shirtless in public yet. I'm not comfortable with that at the moment. I'll probably get comfortable at some point, but you should know that exposing your scars to the sun does pose risk to darken your scars. So you should wait until at least a year after your surgery to have your scars out in public. And the sun can get through your shirts to affect your scars. So it's a good idea to have a UV shirt, to have a sweatshirt, to not be facing the sun with just one layer on. That's just my personal advice. And continue, I have been massaging my scars like this. Just apply pressure and I go all throughout. And I go over that a couple of times with the cocoa butter or with the silicone gel, but I don't have any of it right now, so. If you have any questions about my recovery, you can put those in the comments. I'll see if I can get to your questions. Other than that, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. I feel great. <laughs> I've been running almost every day with my dog, Nikita. I, I never really ran before my surgery. I love running. I love running now. I never thought I would say that I love running, but I, I really love it now because I just, I feel so free. I don't have to be uncomfortable while I'm running anymore, and it feels really good feels really good and I wish that on everybody who wants it so if you have questions about my surgeon about my surgery about my recovery please put those down below I'll try to get to your questions thank you so much for watching be sure to like and subscribe check me out on patreon if you want to see more of these videos that patreon does support me with my rent support me uh, getting out of the country and saving up for my passport so thank you so much everyone have a good day bye